Hey, what's up guys, it's Mike, and let's go ahead and answer a common question I get, which is, Mike, how come you never play professional paintball? <laughs> the first answer I'll give you is I'm not good enough. So, that that's probably the most generic answer, or, you know, the answer that I have no problem admitting to, that I'm just not good enough. Okay, so, you know, I, I know a lot of professional paintball players and the amount of time and dedication and devotion that they do, not only out of their personal lives or out of their, uh, their careers as well, as well as the time on the field, the conditioning off the field, that is so past the point of what I personally wanted to get out of paintball throughout all my years of playing. So. Um, so I will tell you, I have no problem admitting whatsoever that I'm just not good enough. So that, that's, your, that's your first answer. Second answer is, it was just never anything that you know I ever really thought I would ever have the ability to do or even would try to. I mean, I've always been, I've always played it competitively, but in terms of me saying, you know, I'm just going to stop my life and this is what I'm going to do full time now. I'm going to be out of town two weeks a month, you know, training. I'm going to spend endless amounts of money trying to get to the pro leagues. It, it just never really was anything I thought I could ever do. Now, you get now if I had a crystal ball and I knew that I'd have a website called Tech PB and the YouTube channel and stuff like that, would I have maybe pursued it a little more carefully? Yeah, but you know, you got to look at you know where my paintball career was and stuff like that. When I when I was a teenager and stuff like that most of the the professional teams or even the amateur teams were um, you know were older guys that were basically footing the bill on their own sponsorship wasn't really even around that much I mean it was if you were a factory team um, but you know for the most part it was it was way out of anything I could afford you know sell, I used to sell shoes I worked at Tom McCann shoes when I was in high school and, and you know I look at what my paycheck was Versus what it would cost to travel to five or six events a year, plus going out of town to practice and stuff like that, and it just didn't add up. So, you know, and then obviously when you get when you get to college, um, you know, my focus was trying to get through college. Um, once I got out of college, you know, I was, you know, I wanted to make as much money as I possibly can and travel, and you know, I wanted to get married, I wanted to buy a house and stuff like that. It just never seemed to. You know, the time was just never there for me to say, you know, I'm going to stop everything and go play. Um, you know, and I'm not trying to bash pro players or anything like that, but, you know, for me, it was the, the amount of dedication and devotion and, and just time on the field and time off the field that professional players dedicate to paintball was just never anything that I thought was out there. You got to understand, I was raised by a single mom. My parents were, you know, my parents, you know, divorced when I was really young. I grew up being flat broke, okay? I would, you know, all, you know, all you kids that like to make fun of the kids in, you know, middle school that wear the old clothes, that was me, okay? I went into seventh grade wearing the same clothes I wore in sixth grade, okay? Like, you know, when I paid $25 for a pair of shoes, it was like a massive amount of money. So, I was already destitute, flat broke growing up with a mom where, you know, working three jobs. I didn't want to be an adult being flat broke. So, by, when it was time for me to make my own money, I was able to make my own money, you know, doing something that was going to cost tens of thousands of dollars, that was going to risk my education, that was going to risk my career, and this, that, and the other, was not anything I was even willing to consider. I enjoy playing paintball. I really enjoy playing it. For me, it's, it's a lot of fun. I love working on the guns. I love going out there and playing and stuff like that. But in terms of me, you know, uh, you know, switching the railroad tracks from getting through college and trying to get a career versus going and playing professional paintball, that was it. And something else, too. Look at how many of the paintball, how a lot of the commu uh, paintball community treats the pro players, okay? You guys all treat them like shit. Why would I go and do something, you know, that, that, that most of you guys treat your pro, you know, your pros like shit, you know? You guys, you know, they endorse products and stuff like that. You guys don't help them out with that. Um, you know, you know, you go when they're at the uh, the professional events and stuff like that. You know, it's almost like a lot of the fans are like watching a tennis match, man. They don't get into it and stuff like that. You need to bring that back. Um... You know, I remember, you know, I, I think one of the biggest things, like, especially like 2005, you know, when Excessive started having the problems and stuff like that, look at all you guys shit talk them, you know, so, you know, the, the uh, you know, for, for, you know, I know there's a lot of dedicated fans that are out there, I'm a huge fan of pro players, I'll give the keys to my website to any professional player or professional team that needs any assistance whatsoever, 
um, you guys need help, you know, any, this is an open ticket to anybody, you know, any of the professional teams or professional players, man. You guys need publicity, you guys want to email me a video introducing your new players, you guys want to put together a video and put it, you know, that I can put it up on the YouTube channel, you guys want to promote your website, you guys want to promote your new products, you let me know, I have no problem whatsoever uh, hooking up a pro team over here at TechPB. So, um, that, that's, you know, that's at least the least thing I can do, but, you know, I've, I've played against pro players, you know, and, and um, you know, they, they are absolutely amazing, and, and, you know, also, look at my size, man, I'm six foot five. you know, if, if I went and tried out for the Billy, you know, tried out for the Ironman, you'd see Billy Wing, you know, introducing himself to everybody, hey, what's up, okay, you're going to play, so you, what position are you going to play, you know what I mean, I mean, mo most of the pro players are, you know, you know, six feet and under, minimum, why, why would they pay to have somebody of my size out there playing when it's just, you know, simple physics on a smaller target is harder to hit. So, um, that's that's probably why, you know, I never pursued it. I've always been competitive. For me, also, it's also been uh, more of a challenge for me. I've, al I've always really liked developing players and trying to get players involved in the competitive aspects of paintball, which is why I've kind of taken on the USF paintball team and stuff like that, trying to get them a lot better. But I get that question a lot, you know, how come I never played professional paintball? It was just never anything that I, I wanted to do. I mean, think about also, for me, also I looked at it as it's almost like a ratchet. You know, once it clicks, you can't really go back. You know, so if you've only been playing Division One, you've been playing Pro, you can't go back and play Division Three. okay? Can you imagine if you, you know, like Rocky Cagnoni, you know, who's for the most part a retired professional player, if you saw him playing like Division Three at your tournament, you know what I mean? It's like once you play pro, that's it. And also something else that, you know, for people that are considering going to play professional paintball is when you're a rookie team, you have a million teams in and around your city that you can go and practice. Once you go up to Division Three, you got to look a little harder and you got to drive a little bit more. Go to Division Two. Now you may be traveling three, four hundred miles before you can practice another team that's Division Two. Once you get to Division One, you're traveling to another state. Once you go to the professional league, sometimes you're going to another country. So, you know, you, you've got to you got to factor that in there. A lot of pro players, man, they're out of town a week, sometimes two weeks, a month, practicing against other teams. Tell me what job is going to give you two weeks off a month to go and practice and be a pro player. Well, the only ones that really do are the ones that you know work within the industry, or you've got one hell of a nice boss. But then you also got to remember, you just took a salary cut, you know. So where you know if you're making let's say you know a thousand dollars a week, and well if you only work two weeks a month, well you just cut your salary in half. Your fifty thousand job, fifty thousand dollar a year job is not paying you twenty five. So, um, you know, the, the, there's a lot of things that. You know, you know, for me, it just didn't appeal to me to go and play professional paintball. I'm an enthusiast of paintball. I love it. I've been playing it for years and stuff like that. But, you know, I played 2009 all four of the PSP events. And even with that, I was getting burned out. I mean, I spent over $10,000 to play all four of the PSP events just in Division Three Five Man. So, you know, you imagine being a pro that's playing the MPPL and the PSP and stuff like that. I mean, I'm too much of a homebody. I love being here with my wife. I love hanging out with my kids and stuff like that. And... And, you know, for me, it was just, there's not enough, you know, there's just not enough incentive to be a professional paintball player for me to make that kind of sacrifice choice. So, um, you know, that, I think that should pretty much sum up why I didn't really want to be, you know, why I never played professional paintball. It's just, you know, for me, I, I just like playing, you know, I, I love playing competitive X-Ball and stuff like that. You guys see me diving in the snake in the videos all the time and stuff like that. But I also like playing woods ball a lot. I also like goofing around with guns a lot. And I also like drinking beer and eating pizza a lot. And most of those, uh, you know, professional paintball players, man, they're in really, really good shape. I mean, I'm in okay shape, but I mean, they're in really good shape. I mean, those guys can run and gun and hit a pie plate at like 125 feet faster than I can just sprint. So, you know, the, the, you know, the, they could be running and gunning and they're still going to leave me in the dust. Some of them, there's some fast motherfuckers in the pro leagues, dude. I'm telling you, I've tried to lay them out. Um, probably some of the fastest people I played against was like Ramsey L. Yosef. Um, I'll never forget one time trying to lane him going into the snake. It was like hitting a fucking blur, you know? So, um, you know, I've got full respect for pro players and stuff like that. Unfortunately, it's just not in the cards for Mike Phillips, so I'll keep working on guns, I'll keep cranking out videos, I'll keep testing stuff out in the woods, out in the scenario fields, out in the X-Ball fields and stuff like that, but in terms of me giving up my entire life to go and try to pursue a life of, uh, of um, you know, professional paintball, it's just not for me, so uh, much respect out for all the professional players, man, I've got so much respect for you guys, you guys have no idea, but uh, unfortunately I'm not 
going to be on your team probably anytime soon. So hopefully that helps. Thanks.